Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the updated Windhem jacket and I'm gonna be discussing is it worth the price of $14.25? And also, if you have the older version, the Heritage Fit model, I'm gonna be talking about some of the differences between the two, so that way you can decide is this jacket worth the upgrade or not. So first, let's talk about the fit. On the website, this jacket is described as a slim fitting jacket. I would say that this jacket is more of a regular size fit. The reason why I would say that this is more of a regular fit is just because I've also worn the Langford parka and that was definitely more slim fitting. So, but always if you wanna size up for a more oversized look, then you can do that for this jacket as well. And I think that looks pretty good for a more street style kind of vibe. When I went into the store and I asked the sales associate, what's the difference between the Heritage and the newer model? She said that the Heritage fits a bit slimmer. I tried it on and to me, I, maybe it's just all psychological because she said that, it did feel a bit more slimmer, but what I noticed when I was watching the video back, the Heritage looks a bit more bulky, and I think that's just due to the exterior paneling. And also at the top, there's a button seal, so that way it's a further shield from the wind and helps keep you more insulated. So that just adds some extra bulk to the jacket. The main difference that you'll find from the updated Windhem to the Heritage is the Heritage comes with a removable fur hood, but you'll also have the trade-off of not having the backpack straps, one of my favorite features of this new Windhem jacket. Jacket. So I guess do you want the fur or do you want the backpack straps? Another minor difference is just in the interior of the jackets and the mesh pockets. So on both of these jackets, they do have the removable hood, which gives you flexibility if you want to take it off, depending on the weather. But they also have things that you can customize, like a built-in scarf or a reflective hood trim. So that's also another way that you could update the style of your jacket. Both of the jackets have rib knit cuffing which helps to keep your arms warm. It's very nice and snuggly. And the good thing about these jackets is there's not any Velcro by the zippers or anything like that. One issue that I had with the Langford parka is the rib knit would always rub against the Velcro and it actually started to tear and that's what caused me to send in that jacket for warranty. The jacket's exterior has four pockets, two on each side with two zippers that go both ways. So that way you can use one as a hand warmer while still keeping valuable secured in the other pocket. As far as colorways are concerned, both jackets come in the classic and black label. The difference being the patch on the side of the jacket being this red color versus the black. Now I might be a bit biased because I own the newer Windham jacket but I think the colorways look way better. I think they're more fresh and modern. And the limestone and the coastal gray are two of my favorite colorways that Canada Goose has. I like how this jacket is lightweight but warm. It has a 625 downfill. Now I couldn't find on the website the weight of the feathers. So that's one thing to determine the warmth is the downfill power and also the weight. But just from my own personal experience, I can just go around Vancouver wearing this jacket just perfectly fine wearing this and a t-shirt underneath and that's perfect for me. When it does get a bit more chilly, like windy, that's when I'll wear a toque or some gloves. But for all other purposes, just a t-shirt and this parka and I'm good to go. So even though this jacket is a bit more pricey, it does have a lifetime warranty and they'll either replace or fix the jacket. So I've had to go through the warranty system two times. My first was a Langford Fusion Fit where the zipper broke and also some feather issues. Um, my second was also a Langford Fusion Fit and that was with the cuffs and the Velcro. And so hopefully third time's the charm. But my friend also had the same issue with his Langford and the cuff, but he didn't get a replacement. He actually got it fixed. So I'm not really too sure what determines Canada Goose fixing it versus replacing it. So now to answer the question, do I think this jacket is worth it or not? I think that this jacket is worth the price. I mean, for me, I only really need one parka. And the lifetime warranty does give me peace of mind that I won't need another parka. I think the jacket looks good, it fits good, it keeps me warm for the purposes that I need. So overall, I think this is a good stylish option and just gives me some good value knowing that I won't need to buy another parka in my life. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace. I'm a rock star.